thank you guys for tuning in to another episode today uh well actually it's the second day because yesterday i wasn't able to start up the humvee i actually went on vacation and i forgot to turn off one of the light switches so it completely drained my batteries so if you know this is a 24 volt system i try to charge it with the 12 volt obviously no success i try to jump it no success what i ended up having to do is disconnecting the batteries and charging each battery individually and with that i was able to start it up I drove it for about a good hour then i was finally able to to get the batteries back charged but in today's episode we're gonna do the changing of the filter we're gonna change out this filter with this awesome humongous k and filter this thing is huge if you guys don't know these humvees are designed to be in very i guess you could say like very like rough terrains where sometimes it's completely covered in sand and this filter is designed to uh, filter all the dirt particles okay so this system is very restricted and what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up this and we're gonna basically modify this box because obviously you know we're not gonna be in any of those conditions right like a military spec hummer but this um if you look they're not completely waterproof all these seals they're already like all messed up so if you put it in water they're not completely waterproof but either way we're not going to be doing any of that stuff in this we might take it occasionally off-roading but basically i just want to make this build into a badass humvee basically like an h1 alpha so i'm gonna walk you guys through the steps of what we're gonna do we're gonna unbuckle this one right here take out the original filter show you guys how it looks and i'm gonna open this up to see which ways we can open up more airflow to the engine this thing is very restricted so think about it like this think of like let's say you plug one of your nostrils and you try running it's gonna be very hard right because your lungs are gonna have to work a lot harder i don't know if twice as hard but they're gonna have to work a lot harder to get the same oxygen into your lungs so it's the same concept here with this system that is restricted it's limiting the airflow that's going into the combustion chamber okay so we're gonna try to maximize that i don't know if we're gonna get a better fuel economy obviously if you own something like this you don't really care about fuel, fuel economy another thing that we're gonna change out is this grommet right there that grommet right there is really damaged and i bought a new one i don't know where it's at it's right here so we're gonna put this one it has three rubber stop grommets so the these two has one on this side one on the other side those two are fine but this one is damaged so we're gonna replace it with this one that way it doesn't get damaged up here or rattles up here so i'll walk you guys through the step as we go along thank you all right so we took off the cap that basically blocks this thing right here seals the air box and what i noticed is that i think that this humvee was really well maintained because it says that they changed this filter when it had 20,364 miles roughly about three years ago almost going for four years ago but right now it basically only has a thousand miles more than when they changed this filter either way we're gonna swap this out pops right out see the filters pretty ugly compared to the K&M and then we're also gonna modify if you look in here this is where it gets where it gets the air so it has a lot of I'm gonna clean all this up good because it has a bunch of little dirt everywhere you could tell it's kind of been in situations where it's, there's a lot of dirt but we're also gonna get this unit you see how let me put it back so you guys can see you see how it's all closed up in there 
So this is another restrictor. And what we're gonna basically do is we're gonna get this one and we're gonna cut it up right here, like that evenly. So it just has a better open airflow going to it. I wish there was a way I could modify this one. But if, even if we just do that, I'm pretty sure it'll hop out a lot, the airflow going to it. But what I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a vacuum and I'm gonna vacuum all this, that little dust that's in there. Or maybe some car cleaner. Get it all out. You can see that there's like a little drainage hole down there. So there you can see it right there. So like I said, I don't know how much performance this is going to give us, if any. Um, the only thing is that these things are retrofitted for re really tough conditions, but we're not going to do any of that stuff. So we're going to modify it a bit. Hopefully we get some better airflow. Obviously this uh, filter here is not that dirty because it looks like they recently changed it. But I mean, I prefer to have a k and n than, than this. I understand the application for this, but we don't need it. We're gonna go with something better for better airflow. All right, guys, so the only thing I had to take off the original filter was this bolt, but I pretty much had to destroy the original filter because it wouldn't come off. So you use this bolt and it goes on the new Canon filter. I also already cut the I guess the top part of the snorkel. I already grind, I grinded it down with a file, but I'm gonna paint it with just some regular basic black paint, just so. Actually, I don't even need to paint it. It's aluminum. Well, it's up to you if you want to paint it, but I'm gonna paint it just for aesthetic purposes. But the filter should go in. Really simple. And that's it. The Canon filter is installed. It had a seal at the end. The Canon filter inside has a seal that seals up with this side. And then this one it seals up with the with the cap with the original cap. So this one's gonna seal up here. So I'm just gonna paint the snorkel, seal this up. And I guess I'll do like a mini review of how I feel it. Like I said, I don't really think that it's gonna give us a lot of power. But if it gives us a little bit, then more power, baby. Like James Pumphrey. Shout out to James Pumphrey. All right. All right, guys. So it's already been a day since I installed the KN air filter. And I gotta say, that the acceleration is at least 10 times better it's really smooth before you would have to it would take a while for it to kind of develop but as you see i already have everything buttoned up i painted the the little snorkel neck a different color it's like a it's like a grayish silverish but just kind of to test different colors because i still haven't really decided what color i'm gonna paint the the humvee once i get the roof and the doors so i don't know if you guys think of a color drop a, a comment and uh yeah i mean if you have a humvee or a h1 the k9 filter is a definitely must have because man it, it does it's a big difference in acceleration I don't know how much power it gives it, but I'm pretty sure it did give it a lot of a lot of power. I don't know, maybe a couple, 10 horsepower, I don't know. But uh, anyways, guys, if you haven't already, you already know what to do. Hit the like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, guys. I'm out.